We're here at North Ants Precision and we're going to find out what it's like to run a machine shop in 2023. Welcome to this week's Swarf and Chip, sponsored by Interco Special Steels and Alloys. And I'm here with Dan, who runs this company and started this business four years ago, was it? It's about four years ago, yeah. But you've been an engineer longer than that. Yeah, more like 25 years, something yeah. like that. Yeah. We're giving away our ages now when we start, start talking <laughs> about this. But so 20 odd years ago, where did it all begin? Uh, I was an apprentice CNC turner at a um, engineering company based on Silvers and Circuit. Right, and that's all motorsport, so you've still yeah. got that love for yeah. that yeah. trade. Most of our work is motorsport, to be honest with you. Okay, but you're diversifying, aren't you? You're not just solely motorsport. Yeah, I've realised that having all your eggs in one basket is probably not the best idea, so we've been looking for other work. So we've got some auto, uh, automotive work, we've got some oil and gas work, and a few other different sectors. Brilliant. We're going to take you on a tour of this facility. Can I just say, and I know I've already said it, this place is immaculate. You know, we talk about people saying about machine shops can't, might be a bit dirty. No, 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 like there's no dirt on this floor whatsoever. Oh, wait, yeah, yeah, get, get that floor and cameraman because this is clean. Um, right, first machine then, why'd you go for this one? Um, because it can do everything. Basically we've got a sub spindle, we've got a wax, waxes, <clears throat> milling. Um, so yeah, as a first machine, it's effectively two machines because it's got two spindles. And you've kept with the Doosan brand, haven't you, throughout um, quite yes. a few of your machines. Yeah, yeah, they're very reliable machines, good value. They also look good. Yeah, well, they absolutely do. Right, so let's go round uh, uh, to here. As a team, there's a few of you here, but there's one really important person here as well, isn't there? Yeah, the real boss of the business, my missus, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> and you get married in a couple of months. Yeah, three right? months' time, yeah. Three months' time. So, yeah, yeah by the time, yeah, great, great. So she's the boss. Um, so, who's the team members here and how, how do you find running a engineering machine shop? Well, we've got Scott Brown, my best <laughs> mate and my best man as well at the wedding. Yeah. Oh, brilliant, Scott, yeah. How do you find working for Dan? It's not too bad, I've worked for worse. <laughs> He'd do anything for a pay rise. <laughs> yeah, there you go. You <laughs> um, we've got Reese. Reese started with us last week. Oh, brilliant. So, Reese, how are you finding working for the company? Uh, it's good so far. <laughs> are you planning on going on camera today? No, I didn't know. So, um, and, and what's your history? Are you purely turner or do you do milling? I come from a massive background of milling. So um, I've only been turning about two or three weeks. So it's a bit of a change, but I'll get there. And, but he's looking to invest in uh, the milling capability. So you're going to be heading that up. Is that right? Hopefully, yeah. Uh, oh, good. We'll see how it goes. Good luck to you. Um, so we've got the four Doosan machines here, but if you follow us around, um, you've got another machine that, as I walked in earlier, you said it's, uh, it's a machine that you really like. So why is that? This is the Citizen Sliding Head. It's, it's pretty much maintenance free. It, it will run all day. We run it till one o'clock in the morning. We don't really have to do much with it. Tall life is mega because it's running on the um, neat oil. Okay. Um, so yeah, it's just helping pay a lot of overheads, to be honest with you. Because, you know, you've had this company, and as we walked in, obviously, before, off camera, um, we often talk about the company and how it's changed. And it's changed quite a lot for you. Bills are becoming a little bit more expensive. Yeah, I mean, our electricity bill this month was £3,000. So it's getting to the point where it's crippling, to be honest with you. Yeah. So this running overnight with nobody manning it is, is, is helping that. Are you having to change the way that you're investing and... <laughs> You know, what are you having to do to kind of compensate? Well, we'll try and cut costs where we can, so we try and get better deals on tooling, materials, electricity yeah. costs. Yeah, it's a lot, <laughs> isn't it? Uh, yeah, everywhere you can try and save a few pennies, it makes a big difference at the moment. Yeah, and there's a camera behind you. So what's this camera for? There's a ring. This is a ring doorbell. <laughs> what, what have you got that for? Uh, so I can sit at home and... Um, I say count money, but no. So, so basically, <laughs> some of these tools sometimes get wrapped up in swarf. Okay. So if that happens, I'd like to come in. I only live 10 minutes away, so come in, remove the swarf, carry on. Right, okay. And there's also another interesting story that you've got. is the fact that you bought PSL data track before you even bought a machine. Yeah, so, I wanted to be organised straight away because most of my work, as soon as I started, was motorsport. <clears throat> um, so I wanted to get 
ISO 1001 as soon as possible. Yeah. PSL made that pretty easy, to be honest with you. I've used it at another company and realised how good it was, so yeah, that was my first investment. And do you, it helps run the company? Yeah, but it's, it's traceability, login materials, as soon as you've done a quote, that's it, all the way through to works orders, delivery notes, invoices, Could you importing it, without, it to zero. Pardon? Could you run the business without PSL data? Uh, I could run the business, but it wouldn't be as efficient, no. I like that, I like that, that's perfect, isn't it? Um, and you've got an inspection department as yes. well, so why did yeah. you, because like I say, it's it's super clean here. Um, our poor cameraman's got to walk backwards, is it? Is he going to be all right, you all right? Again, this is just immaculate. So uh, why have you gone for uh, the equipment that you have, the Mr. Toyo here? Well, because boat sport work we do, we need to have the best kit, we need to be able to check every part. So we invested heavily in here and we still will continue to invest. And you, you know, you're based in Northampton, and I mean, there's some fantastic parts here on the table. You're based in Northampton. How does that benefit you, your customers? Well, I think this is like the motorsport mecca of the country. So there seems to be plenty of work around. Yeah. Um, oh, the customers are going to want local suppliers. Mm. And you can deliver to them as well? Yeah, straight to the door. No couriers, just Stick it in the van, drive to the customer. Brilliant. And and how are you finding running a company? I know it's not easy, of course, different things are changing, but where do you see the company in the future? And what are your goals? What Why do you stand out? I think we're reliable, we're honest, um, not scared to invest. And you are investing, aren't you? Yeah, so we've got an existing customer. Um, so basically, we're a turn-in shop, not a million shop, but an existing customer's asked to take on million work. Mm. So I think we're going to invest in a, 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 a new VMC. So are you telling me that you're driven by the demand or is it you just want to expand for expansion's sake? How do, well, how we want to keep existing customers happy. So mm -hmm. we want to keep those customers. So if they want to do million work, then we'll do million work. Yeah, of course. And you've got obviously Reef outside that's quite excited. That, well, yeah. And, and of course, there's training. Yeah, well, we do on-the-job training, obviously. Um, but the new guy, we could send him on some turning programming training courses at Mill CNC. Super exciting, right? Yeah. And that, and mills have looked after you in different ways as well, haven't they? Yeah, I mean, we've moved site twice now, and both times they've moved all the machinery. I mean, the last move, they moved everything, the inspection room, uh, our cupboards, our cabinets, everything. But you've had a real kind of personal touch from them yeah, as a company. Yeah, they've, they've, they've looked after us, to be fair. And naturally, of course, you've gone to invest in their machines yeah. too. Um, so you're getting married in a couple of months. Yeah. Uh, so before you go off to get uh, married, any expansion plans for the facility? What are you thinking about doing in the future? And where do you want the business to be? Um, well, we're nearly out of space. So we'll expand enough as we, you know, what we can in this place. Mm -hmm. And then going forward, I don't know, maybe we'll get a purpose-built unit. Yeah. But we'll see. And maybe can we have your wife on camera next as well? Because she's gone off to pick up the children, yeah, hasn't she? Yeah. yeah, she'll be here next time. <laughs> well, congratulations ahead of your wedding in a couple of months. Thank and you. hopefully we'll be back here in a new facility, even bigger in the future, and see some more equipment from yourselves here at North Hans Precision. Thanks, Dan. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for watching this week's Swarf and Chips, and we'll see you again next week.